Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another large block ship that looked a lot bigger on the workshop page compared to what it is in game. But this is the orbital assault ship, which is this lovely thing that I'm currently standing on. And features a very small interior, it's got a lot of guns around the outside, lots of places for small block ships to dock up to, we've got three along the top there, as well as one underneath. And we're going to play around with it, drive it around and see how it handles my world that's got the speed limit removed. So pressing F10 and finding this in the spawn menu, the Orbital Assault Ship is 1,494 large blocks using no DLC packs and no mods. We've got a little bit of information about it, such as the background on why it was built. We'll just give this thing a thumbs up, move around towards the very front, have a quick look around the outside, have a quick look at the interior, then we're going to drive it around, see what kind of speed we can get up to, then maybe slam it into an asteroid. So at the very front, this is what we can see. So we've got ourselves a camera right in the very middle, so we can drive this around from our internal cockpit. We've got one cockpit that sits right at the very top in that windowed bridge. They've got one that sits inside the ship, so if you ever got that part blown off, you have an alternative to drive this around. But to the left and right of that, we've got some decoys right behind some piston heads, then a bunch of white and red and grey steel blocks. If we have to move around onto the side, I'll turn off my light for the moment. This is all we can see, so even more white, red and grey steel blocks. We see some landing legs underneath, and we start to move along to our first turret bay. We've got ourselves some gigantic, I think they're assault turrets, they could be artillery turrets. We've got a standard Gatling gun on the very end there, and there we can see at the very top a doorway to get into our main bridge. Right in the middle between our two turrets, we've got a connector to dock this thing up, and of course to dock up a small ship if you want to have another thing come along with you. Over towards the back, we've got three hydrogen thrusters, which are the only form of thrusters that appear on the ship. So you are good for both space and a planet. And at the very back, this is all we can see. Just one hell of a lot of hydrogen thrusters being separated by some armoured panels and some passages. If we had to move all the way up and above and look down, we can see a bunch of solar panels with some windows on top of them, giving them a bit of protection from any kind of stray shots coming towards you. A couple more hydrogen thrusters. A air vent stuck in auction from the surrounding areas. And just looking up at this first of all, we can see an antenna, some interior pillars with a red and green light on the side, Two laser antenna, they drop it down just a little bit. So there's our air vent. Onto the side, we can see our window. There's our flight seat inside with another air vent. There's our doorway in. And then onto the side of that bit. There we go. Anyway, moving back up and looking down, we can see three connectors for small ships come and dock up to this. There's our guns on the very side. There is where I'm standing. Then dropping down and coming underneath this thing, past our decoys all the way down, another laser antenna, and then another connector for a small ship to dock up to. The small ship will have to be very small and very thin to fit in there, but if you did have something precious that you wanted to keep protected, that's one way to store it. We do have another doorway that will lead inside, and some more hydrogen thrusters. Going towards the back, another landing leg, and there's even more hydrogen thrusters to keep you off the ground while on the planet. And there we go, that's a very brief look around the outside of the orbital assault ship and it does look great with how it's all been set up. It looks like it could fit the water mod very well, just land it straight down onto the water, have it bob around, or just use it in space like I am right now. Anyway, grabbing hold of my character, what we're going to do is come through that side door, go onto the top and then work our way all the way down to that bottom pad and just see what this thing has to offer. So walking all the way up to this, opening it up, there's no double door so we will let out all the oxygen and there is no script to control the door. This is what we get on the inside. So we've got our flight seat up there to control the thing, our air vent right behind there so we don't suffocate, and one fantastic view all the way around this. Anyway, we move down just a little bit, we've got an LCD screen with our speed and our aiming thingy, I've got what's called. We're moving down just a little bit, there's another door so we can close that up. In front of us is a cargo access so we can load stuff up if we need to. And turning around, there's our internal cockpit to drive this thing around. To our left, we then got our survivor kit in the floor. Coming around over to this section, we've got a little hidey hole next to another air vent. So there we go, if you're in danger, you can just sit down here and cower in fear. Moving all the way up, opening up that doorway, dropping all the way down. Turning around, we've got another door, so just close that up. Opening that, that'll now be our lower docking pad. Where our connector will be right there next to our laser antenna. And there we go, that's the tour of the interior. Now I've got to come up to this, open this door up, inside, all the way up, into the flight seat. And these are the only controls we get. 
So number one is going to be for our hydrogen thrusters, but these are our boost thrusters, which are going to be six of them at the back. So turning that off, we'll now use much less fuel while driving this thing around. Turning that off, pressing number two, number three is going to be for our turrets all the way around the chip, with number four being for our camera at the very front. Number five, six, and seven is going to be for our jump drive, where pressing number six, we can jump 2,000 kilometers, which is fantastic stuff for this size of ship. We'll go do that right now. Number eight is going to be for our batteries to auto recharge, then number nine is going to be for our hydrogen tanks to stockpile on and off. And that is that for the controls. So now that we've jumped 2,000 kilometers, hiding the HUD, we'll let the game load in, and hopefully it'll load in, because it's going to be time to drive this thing around. And there we go, all the asteroids have popped in, and what we're going to do is just aim towards that first of all, we're going to get the camera so we're nice and lined up. There we are, come out of that, and move forwards. So this is the speed we're getting. We're not going to be too fast at the end of the day, so we aren't going to be heavy reliant on any kind of ships we take along with us, as well as all the turrets around this ship. And as you can see, we have passed 100 meters per second, thanks to a mod I have installed. But coming to a stop, we feel a lot faster, or at least I feel a lot faster, so it doesn't seem to have much issue when charging along towards the station. Moving left, and moving right, we are exceptionally slow with that, but then again, with this amount of guns on here, we're not going to be maneuvering around too much, which is going to let them come on the enemies. And I did just see a melee signal in the bottom right hand corner, so we're going to head over to that instead of slamming into an asteroid. Yes, moving up, and then moving down, we're a lot slower moving down, and moving up feels a lot faster, but not as fast as moving forwards. And as for gyroscope controls, as you can see here, we've got a nice lot of control over this, it's got a bit of meat on here, so it does feel quite weighty, and certainly suits this size of ship. Now what we've got to do is try and find out where those space pirates were. Might have to sit here for a little bit. Oh, there they are. Moving all the way up. There's somewhere in that direction. Can I get onto the camera? Move all the way forwards. That looks like a asteroid. That could be them right there. In fact, I think that might be them. We're going to wait for it to pop one more time and then I'm going to start to head over. So unfortunately, these space pirates despawned in front of me while I was just fiddling around with the sunlight. So instead, we're just going to charge along into this at about 500 meters per second and see what kind of damage we can deal. So here we go straight into that. And oh my god, I think, I think it's been absolutely annihilated. There is the back of the ship, my computer did not like that, but we completely annihilated whatever the hell that was for the space pirates. And I have a strange feeling that the game might have crashed. Might have crashed, oh, it caught up. But there we go, look at that. We're moving at 223 meters per second. That is all the remains of the poor little orbital space platform. And there's quite a lot of stuff up there. I should have gone for them, really. But that was one hell of a crash. But anyway, it's a lovely little ship. You do wish to download and play with it in your world. It's a very nice thing to transport a bunch of vehicles from one place to another in relative safety, as long as you're being quite careful while driving around at high speeds. So be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around with it yourself. Highly recommend you do. And I'll be back with another video somewhat soon. Bye bye.